Grant, what do you got for curveball of the week here? Yeah, so early, earlier today, guys, I'm driving home, and, uh, you know, I'm stuck at a stoplight, and, you know, I'm trying to go through the intersection, and the other, the other, the other way, um, there was no one coming, but we were stuck at a red, and this car in front of me kept taking its foot off the brake and was damn near halfway out in the intersection, and it just pissed me off so much because I'm like, you being out in the street is not going to change this light going from red to green. Like, it's just, that's just unnecessary. You're being an asshole right now. So I want to know, like, what's your biggest pet peeve you see from other people do when they're driving where you're just like, you can't do that. Oh, e- easily hanging out in the left lane. Like, if you're going, like, four or five over, like, that's – I think that's fine. Like, if you're going a little bit over, but as soon as someone comes up behind you, you get the fuck over. Mm-hmm. Like, simple as that. Doesn't matter. You get over, you let them go. Uh, well, since COVID, when I see people alone driving, driving in their cars with a mask on that one, that for some reason pisses me off, <laughs> but, uh, I'm trying to think here. Cause there's a lot that, or, Hmm. I don't, yeah, the, the, the left lane thing. I I'm I mean most of my job is consists of driving so I, I deal with a lot of people and North Dakota there is a lot of highways so you know you're taking a risk crossing into the other lane and seeing people turn or try to pass you when it is that they are very much cutting it close and they zip by you and then they almost get hit like that just gives me the most severe anxiety ever. You know, for me, guys, it's got to be like when I'm, you know, coming on an on-ramp to get onto the highway and this car who is in the right-hand lane doesn't merge over for me. When there's no one in the left-hand lane and it's just kind of that common courtesy, like, hey, someone's coming on the highway. I'm going to get over to the other lane so they can merge right on there. It's just, that just, for some reason, just drives me up a wall because I'm worried there's going to be accidents, even when I see it. And I'm like, oh, these two, they're going to run into each other. They're going to run into each other. Something bad's going to happen here. Um, but also another big one here, people driving without their headlights on. Mm. I mean, God, a couple of weeks ago, it's snowing here, and it's 530 at night. And some guy's just driving down the road, no lights on at all. No taillights, no headlights, no nothing. It's like, you're trying to kill, you're trying to kill somebody. Yeah. Poof, duh. It's Yikes. that, or when I was, uh, when I, when I, when I was driving semi, when people would pass you and then they would go right in front of you where it's like, uh, mm. you know, I'm, 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 I'm hauling a trailer. It takes a lot more for me to stop than, uh, just a, uh, quick, uh, tap on the brakes. I, if, if I'm stopping, I'm going for quite a ways and I'm taking you out, whether you, you like it or not. So mm-hmm. don't, don't cut me off because no, but I'm I'm just trying to get home safe. But I think that wraps up episode one. The Nash Michigan winning the national title edition of the uh, Three Guys Talking Ball podcast. We'll have the segments of the show out on Friday. We'll be uh, post. Uh, we will have. Uh, you can check us out on all of our social medias at Three Guys Talking Ball podcast on YouTube and Facebook. 3G TV podcast on X, Twitter, whatever you want to call it, Instagram, and TikTok. And we will be back to recap and preview the divisional round games next week. Thank you guys for listening.